Hi everyone, it's Simon Keeling here at weatherweb.net and it is Monday the 25th of January. Thanks again for watching. A beautiful sunrise this morning. This was the snap that I captured from our office. Some beautiful colours there. Uh, but of course, what does red sky in the morning tell us? It's a shepherd's warning. But I think the shepherds were probably a few hours late because it's Tuesday that sees the worst of the weather. Um, now, I've been told off by Captain Bob for using uh, the term Storm Jonas. <laughs> Um, he's he's had great delight today in emailing me and telling me off for using it both in the musings and in the video. He says Gary's far more sensible than me because he's not mentioned it once. Um, so <laughs> I've been told off for being too sensationalist. And uh, do you know what? These stories about Storm Jonas coming in are pretty crazy. It really is getting out of hand. Look, all this is is a winter storm that's bringing in a fair amount of rain. Yes, the ground is still saturated, so there could be some localised flooding, particularly in those areas that got wet um, earlier on in the month and through December but let's keep it in context these are not huge rainfall totals that are coming in yes there'll be some heavy rain around this is the forecast rain by six o'clock on Tuesday morning you notice it's knocking on the door of Wales by then it's through northwest England it's through western Scotland the heaviest of it western Scotland and into western parts of Ireland now these are the six hour forecast rainfall totals by midday tomorrow, so this is the six hours from 6am to midday, it's across much of southwest England through Wales into northwest England as well. But notice how sheltered most of eastern Scotland, most of northeast England, most of the Midlands are. It's these western parts of Scotland into northwest England, down through the western parts of Wales, seeing most of the rainfall. Some really heavy totals across the high ground of Scotland and northwest England. Again, because the air is so saturated, it's so moist, it can hold lots of water vapour. And then as soon as it gets into uh, our part of the world, and cools down it just rings itself out so that's where you get the heavy bursts of rain and yes there could be some localized flooding in places just because the ground is so saturated but i think i can safely stress it's not going to be to the sort of level we saw in january and december and then by six o'clock on tuesday evening so this is from midday on Tuesday through until the end of the evening. The rainfall by then still western Scotland, yes, still some more across northwest England, but it's western Wales and southwest England seeing most of it, sort of a two to five mil across more sheltered central and eastern areas. But you notice here the drier weather moving in to the back of this system as it moves through. We've got some pretty strong winds to come as well, severe gales across many northern and western areas. Uh, but again, it's a stress, it's just a normal winter storm. And by the end of the evening, rainfall um, probably still across southern areas, bits through Wales, but you know, so most of Scotland and northern England by then is dry, although more rain returning into Western Ireland. In fact, forecast total rainfall for Tuesday looking like this. This is from now through until the end of Tuesday evening. And you see here fairly high totals across the west of Scotland, also across northwest England, looking at uh, 50 millimetres plus, maybe more than that over high ground, and across western Wales as well. Here we're looking up to 50 millimetres of rain, as well as across western parts of Ireland. So, you know, they're high rainfall totals, but it's nothing exceptional, really, given the, um, given the wet weather that we've seen recently. What it will do is add to the totals of the month already, so make it appear as if it's uh, an even wetter month than it actually has been, if that's possible. And the jet stream is back. Uh, this is the chart, forecast chart for Tuesday morning. Here's the jet blowing through here, broad jet stream across the Atlantic. And it stays in situ through the week as troughs move their way eastwards. The jet remains there. Here it is through Friday, still blasting through the country. And the jet is still there on Tuesday as well. There it is, look, blowing through the UK. And then for Friday, uh, jet stream still there. Remember, this is Friday, the 5th of February. And despite the hints of a building ridge for Sunday the 7th, the jet is still hanging around. This is Wednesday the 10th. Remember, this is to the GFS operational, so things can change. But certainly what it's saying to us at the moment is there's not that much change. Although it does try to get this ridge built into the south, which could bring some dry weather across more central and southern parts of the country after the wet spell we've got coming up. Beyond that, CFS trying to show something, middle part of February, that build in pressure. This is the forecast rainfall for week one through to the 31st of January. You notice all the wet weather across the UK, much of uh, northern Europe, that's the jet stream blowing through here. Week two, again, shows more unsettled conditions, mostly towards the north of the UK. 
But by week three, which is up to the 14th of February, hints just a pressure building towards the east, sort of blocking the uh, jet coming in from the Atlantic, forcing it further south, perhaps bringing in some more easterly winds. So is that cold weather coming in? Well, it's, something is there. But it certainly isn't lasting long as far as the CFS sees, because by uh, week four, end of the 21st of February, what do you know, the rain is back. And it wants to keep that position until the end of the month. Although just notice here this ridge again trying to get itself in. Although the wet weather continues across much of the UK. So what we're seeing hints of is this short-lived sort of chilly spell in the middle of February. We'd kind of go along with those ideas but not lasting very long at all. But of course we'll develop this story over the coming days and weeks. But for now, whatever you're doing, thanks again for watching. Don't forget if you need a forecast for the next couple of days, check out Gary's fast forecast. But keep the sun shining and bye for now.